Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at setting up magic spells with the shooter module. If you've ever tried out the Battle Royale game Spellbreak, you'd see why this would make sense. Before we start, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. This scene will be made available on Patreon. So we're starting off with a really basic scene. So I have a player, nothing attached yet, a camera motor um, with a slight offset on 0 0.7 on the x-axis and um, you know on the y and that's it I have a big plane and you know that's it so first things first I'm going to be adding the player shooter component there we go now if you're wondering what the difference is between the character and the player one um, if you are using the character shooter component, for example, you won't have the crosshair. If you don't want a crosshair, then, you know, just use the character shooter, for example. Um, you can also turn off the, uh, the crosshair with the player shooter one, but yeah, that's the main, main difference. Um, so next up, I'm going to add another character here. Um, this will just be for the impact. Um, so you want to see what happens when you shoot. And he won't have anything attached other than uh, stats. So uh, don't mind these stats. Something went wrong with this uh, with this project. So just don't mind this. Um, so we'll only be using the uh, the HP one anyway. So next up, I'm going to add a empty here, um, which I'll call combat, and. We'll, uh, we'll add some triggers here. Now, for this example, I'll be using um, Realistic um, FX Pack 4 by Crypto289. I thought I'd use something different for once because I'm always using um, you know, Polygon Synthi packs. However, if you want to use something else, even the, you know, the, the free Unity uh, FX or the Synthi ones, uh, the setup is exactly the same. There's no difference. Um, it's just particle effects. Actually, with um, with this one, you have to take one step further. But uh, the realistic effects back four by Crypto looks really, really cool. So that's why I wanted to use it. So let's get started by adding some triggers. Um, we'll need a couple of them, and these are just a basic setup. I you know, I, I do realize we don't have anything set up yet, but it's just easier this way. So, uh, another trigger and another trigger. Um, mouse uh, down, so this will be the, the left one. Another mouse down, um, this will be right. Uh, mouse uh, up for this one, and this will be right as well and I'll use a uh, key down and we'll use uh, E there we go to equip our weapon all of these will need simple actions so this will be shoot so weapon shoot so single um, aim, so weapon aim, um, camera direction, and I'll copy this over. And here we'll stop aim, and this will be draw weapon. I'm not going to do a holster. Now we don't have a weapon yet, so that's what we're going to create. So on left, we're going to shoot, we're going to aim. When we let go of the right mouse button, we're going to stop aiming. And on key down E is going to draw our weapon. So really basic, really simple, um, but that's all it needs to be for now anyway. So next up, and I'm going to drop this in uh, in our shooter magic folder here, which I would not suggest. I'd suggest you know putting it somewhere that actually makes sense. So let's create a weapon. And I'm just going to call this uh, magic. Now 
Now as you can see um, it requires a couple of things so let's get started by adding some bullets. So ammo and this will be fireball. I'm going to add shooter which will make it easier to look up. And we'll drag that in default. Let's call this um, projectile magic. So basically, switching up ammo would um, would basically allow you to use different um, different projectiles as well, which is fun. Um, so we need some states. So I'm going to do a, a locomotion state. And let's rename this to um, Shooter Idol. Um, what is it? Magic Idol. And we'll need a simple state as well. And let's rename this um, Magic Aim. And let's drag this in. There we go. We'll need a 3D model as well. And considering this will be a projectile with a um, particle effect, I'm going to do a sphere. And we do need this, by the way, just to be absolutely clear. I'll explain why as well. So let's call this um, fireball bullet. It's a bit of a weird name, but. And I'm going to change this to dot 0.1. And there we go. I'm going to create a prefab out of this. And let's remove this one. Now we can already drag this in, but just not here yet. Um, This is for the bullet. Um, oh yeah, so what I'm going to do here, um, let's look up uh, the revolver. So this is in the examples. Um, I know the model is different, I changed the model. Don't mind that. Um, so we have, I already had one, let me remove that. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to duplicate this. Um, the default one, rename it to um, Fireball and now Fireball Prefab, something like that. I'm going to drag this into the scene, unpack, and I'm going to go back to my uh, scenes here. Where was it? Shooter Magic, there we go. And I'm going to drag it in here. Let me remove this one. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I just want everything to be in the same one. Now for um, for the default purposes, I'm going to leave the model turned on for now and later I'll turn it off, but it will help with placement. So that's why it's actually useful to have a model in there. And yeah, this might be a bit strange, but I already checked what offset works for me, so that will help. So for now, we'll leave the model on just so we know uh, for sure everything is working and then we can turn it off. You can actually add a particle effect to the model as well, like a fireball in the hand. It could look cool. I don't know. So that's it. Um, pretty simple, pretty basic, but yeah, it works. We'll need a mask here as well. Um, and there's a, an upper body mask in pretty much every example of Game Creator. Um, so just use this one. They're all the same. And yeah, that's it. Now, obviously, we still do need animations, and I'm not going to. Uh, 
uh, use anything special I'm actually going to use um, animations that are in the um, crypto FX pack um, I'm not really sure where they are let me look up idle there we go Ah, models characters there we go so yeah this is what I'll uh, what I'll be using um, just the default idle so if we play this um, this is what it looks like now make sure these are turned on in case they're not and have an offset on 0 0.1 and you know yeah that's it that's the animation cool um, so that's the one I'll be using so let's go back to our scene here. I have too much stuff. So I'll be using the same one for aim and idle. I know it's not, you know, it's a bit lazy, but hey, it works. Animations, drag in idle. I will need to do the same for the magic idol, which I'll lock as well. And obviously, if you have a great animation pack, I definitely recommend using that. Um, I just wanted to do this without, you know, needing too much of different things. So. Now that we have that done, let's go back to our scene. Now we'll need another one, um, another animation, which is uh, used for shooting. So um, basically shooting needs an animation as well. And I'm also going to use one from the same pack and that's called attack uh, one. Oh, and I'm in audio. Don't mind me, animations, shoot, there we go. Attack one. And this is the one, so realistic effects, blah, blah, blah. Also going to use a upper body mask here. No reloading, because it's magic, so there's no reloading. Um, the crosshair, I'm going to use the default uh, crosshair. Um, obviously, you can get creative and select other ones, create your own. Um, I'm going to do infinite ammo because there's no ammo requirements. You can tie this to an actual mana requirement, but it doesn't make sense to have this related to uh, ammo itself. Um, auto reload and duration is zero. That way, you know, it will be instant. And this is going to be the big change. So we're not going to use Raycast, we're going to use Projectile. And that's going to make things really, really different. So the prefab for Projectile will be our Fireball Bullet. I'm going to remove Recoil, because again, it doesn't make any sense for Magic. Same with Spread, it doesn't make sense for Magic. So those are all of the basic things here. Everything's included. Um, we can give this a name, so fireball. There we go. And shoot fireballs. Now a lot of the work here is going to be, and it's not a lot, but you just kind of have to figure out how to do it is going to be related to the actual bullet and yeah I had to look at the, um, the arrow that's included um, with the examples to get a sense of how this would work so for now I'm going to leave on the mesh renderer um, we just want to make sure it actually works first and then we can add particle effects etc so we'll just be using the actual sphere so we need a rigid body um, quite important. I'm going to turn off gravity. I don't think it makes sense for magic balls to drop, have bullet drop or something like that. It's just weird. Um, I 
I'm pretty sure the pool object will be added by default for pooling once we actually use it. Um, so let's add a trigger. Uh, collision enter. Now we're leaving this empty um, and that's quite important as well. Uh, you might wonder why we would leave this empty um, because it needs to collide with any object. So, you know, it's a fireball. Um, it will always have impact. So it will need some actions and we're going to put everything here. I almost forgot we need some local variables as well. Um, so just the one we'll call this collision. And this needs to be a game object. There we go. And we're going to store the collider in the game object. Fireball bullet. And there we go. So I'll move this up and let's add our actions here. Perfect. So what I'm going to do here is uh, instantiate and yeah, over, I've already looked up um, which one the fireball is, but I definitely recommend having a look at everything that is included in realistic effects. The fireball is actually one of the most boring ones, um, but it's also one of the most common ones to use, which is why I'm using it. But honestly, these effects look absolutely insane. So I definitely recommend having a, you know, a go through, through all of the effects because some of them are just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So. I'm going to look up um, effect 23 explosion and the reason I'm selecting the explosion here is because um, we'll be using effect 23 as the particle effect and I know the default one already does the explosion if you're already using this however that would um, require collision to be turned on which is something we cannot do um, because we also have a mesh in here so little detail but quite important um, and this is going to be instantiated literally at the point of impact which is our ball so we're going to do a um, attribute change on the invoker which is literally any collision it enters so you know whatever it touches that will lose health um, which is a really, really easy uh, setup. I'm really happy with that, actually. Um, we'll do a subtract. If for some reason you don't have this, and I know I mentioned this a couple of times because it seems some people don't have subtract for some strange reason, um, just do add and then a minus value. However, you should have it. So if you don't have it, you know, look why you don't have it. And we're going to do a notify shot. Um, invoker um, and then we're going to do a local variable drag in our fireball bullet and collision and again I'm, I'm just so happy um, there was an actual um, you know there was an actual uh, example with the arrows to show how to do all of this and then we're going to add a set active um, and then that's the entire bullet. There we go. So that's it. I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but this is all we need to do for now. So now that all of this is set up, let's have a look and see if it's actually working. And I'm also going to change the default position here, um, all to zero. Um, that would help. Let's save and have a look. And maybe it will help if we would actually add that our weapon that we just created to the actions. So um, on key down, let's draw our magic here. There we go. Now I know we still have this gun here, um, but that's just for testing. So let's, uh, yep. That's all working. 
Now this is part of the reason why I wanted to try out the crypto one. As you can see the flame effect is incredibly cool of the impact. Um, same when you hit the floor, um, you know it collides with anything. Um, looks really really nice. So let's have a look at our character here and as you can see his health has gone down as well. So an incredibly easy way to manage um, you know the impact. It's really nice. So now that we know all of that is working, um, let's finish off. So fireball prefab, let's turn off that gun. And the reason I'm not just doing an empty prefab is because it does require this muzzle, even though it's not using it, um, it still does require it. Um, that's just how the shooter module is set up. Doesn't matter, you know, it works. And now in our bullets, what we're going to do here and as you can see, the pooling is now um, added. So let's turn this back on. I'm going to turn off the mesh renderer. There we go. And I'm going to look up um, that effect 23 in, um, in assets. And this is the one we need. So it's in effects and then prefabs. So not the other ones. And we're going to add that here. Now a couple of things we'll need to double check. Um, so everything here is fine. Um, you know, you can change all of these values if you want. Um, mess around with it. The most important part here is that we turn off collision detection. Reason for that is because um, this fireball bullet has its own collision. So we don't want it to explode literally the moment it gets instantiated. Now, if you are using polygon uh, particle effects from Sinti or, you know, whatever, those will just be default particle effects. So you won't have to do anything. Just drag it in there and it will work. That's it. So let's hit play again. I'm going to draw and that's it. We're uh, shooting our fireballs and it's all working and it looks really cool. Now, obviously, um, you know, I did a fireball here and, you know, there's so much magic you can do. Um, but the idea was a bit like, you know, I, even the lighting looks really cool as you can see on the character. It's, yeah, it's a really nice, uh, nice effects pack. Um, but yeah, I mean, this will work with pretty much any particle. Obviously, it's all about the mechanic. Um, so, you know, I had a fireball, but you can use anything else you really want. Um, this effects pack has so many really cool things. Um, I don't know why I just closed that. Um, let me close it, uh, show it like this. Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, let me go into play mode and I'll, uh, I'll drop in some of the effects and you'll see, you'll see what I mean. Um, I think they're uh, pretty much on a quite a different level here. Uh, maybe turn off the, uh, the mouse move that would help. And let's drag our player a tiny bit back. There we go. So yeah, it's uh, this is one of them, and all of them have like a, you know a type of impact. Um, this one looks absolutely insane. It's really cool. It even has the ripple effect of water. Uh, I don't know. I thought that was cool. Meteor strikes. Um, you know, you name it. There's there's a ton of different uh, different assets in there. As you can see, what I, this is something I really like the impact impact it has, like a shader impact on the on objects on on the player for example looks incredibly cool so yeah tons of uh, awesome effects um, that's why I wanted to try this one for once uh, just to do something different but as you can see the shooter module works incredibly well for magic as well um, which adds some versatility so if you are also using the combat module for example you can have magic working with targeting etc so really cool easy to set up once you know what to do um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.